Terry, Terry, listen, I know you're still upset about WandaVision. It's okay. Listen, there's a new Marvel show coming out this next week, Falcon and Winter Soldier. You can watch that instead. Or you can go watch my review of WandaVision. It's right now on AAC channel. Listen, I gotta go. I gotta shoot a video. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Sorry about that. So as you may have heard me talking to Terry there, some of us are still pretty upset the way WandaVision ended, but have no fear because its replacement, Falcon and Winter Soldier, is on its way to Disney+. And in this video, we're going to be talking about release schedule, where we last saw these characters, maybe some things to keep your eye out for. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Animated Apparel Company YouTube channel. I am your resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and today we are talking about the upcoming Disney Plus series, Falcon and Winter Soldier, the one that I'm actually very excited for. Now, just like WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier is going to be fully replacing in terms of the time slot where WandaVision left off. It's going to be every single Friday on a weekly basis, but instead of about 30 minute episodes or even about 20 something with 10 minutes of credits, as WandaVision got famous for, this one's actually going to be six episodes, but they're going to be closer to an hour, hopefully not including that credit mark. In terms of where we last saw these characters, we saw both Anthony Mackie, Sam Wilson, and Sebastian Stan, Bucky Barnes in Avengers Endgame in the near ending scenes when Old Man Cap comes back for his time travel adventures, sits by the lake, and eventually passes the shield on to Sam. There are still a lot of unknowns, but what we can conclude from the trailer and synopsis is that Sam and Bucky will be going on a global adventure to test their abilities and patience with one another. In the trailers, we also see a character by the name of John Walker, also known as US Agent. This character is basically a filler or even knockoff of Captain America by taking up the mantle without really taking up the mantle. He dresses similar to Cap, even uses a Cap shield, although it's not THE shield as we know Sam has it, but he fills the persona of Cap and even has a lot of similar physical capabilities, and I expect him to kind of go Homelander or something like that as he is very much an anti-hero and not always a nice guy. We also know that Daniel Bruhl's Baron Zemo will be back from Captain America Civil War, and one can only assume he's the main bad guy who's pulling the strings, though his motives are unknown as he failed at the end of Civil War. And considering that his character fizzled a bit during his first appearance, I'm hoping this will be a second chance to have a bigger impact, especially since the Super Bowl trailer that says he has no intention of to leave his work unfinished, which leads me to believe that his intentions are not only to disband superheroes, but potentially to kill them off. We also see the return of Sharon Carter, Peggy Carter's great niece who we haven't really seen since Civil War, but based on some of her action scenes it looks as though she may be filling in the void left by Black Widow. But other than some possible espionage and cool Mission Impossible style missions for Sam and Bucky, there will also be a big internal struggle for these characters. The biggest struggle belonging to Sam as he comes to terms with being the new owner of Cap's shield and if he should take up the mantle of Captain America. For Bucky, I don't think he's wanting to challenge Sam for the mantle as he pushed Sam to talk to Cap at the end of Endgame. I just don't think it's something Bucky sees himself becoming, especially considering his checkered past as the assassin, the winner soldier. But I do think he will be a big driving factor for Sam to push outside of his comfort zone and help prepare him to as he literally grew up with Steve Rogers and knows the traits of what he stood for from the beginning and what it takes to be a superhero. I expect there to be a lot of awesome action and a good mix of buddy cop moments that see Sam and Bucky butting heads or trying to one-up each other in the series and honestly I can't wait. As great as WandaVision was, Falcon and Winter Soldier is bound to be great in its own way and add another layer to the MCU. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Are you excited? for Falcon and Winter Soldier, is there anything you really want to see from this series maybe WandaVision didn't give you, or that can just branch out on its own and be its own thing? Who knows? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the AAC team. And you want to make sure you hit subscribe because we're going to be talking and explaining each episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier after it comes out, a couple days after give you some time to watch it, but you wanna make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those videos and get all the information on this show. Hold on. Yeah, no, I'm gonna plug the merch. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna tell them about the code. Thank, thank you, Terry. Thank you, thank you, I got, I'm doing a video. And also be sure to check out AnimatorPeralCompany.com where you can get some awesome merch like this t-shirt here. And be sure to use the code Aaron20 so you can get 20% off of every item in your cart. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.